I opened the door and I saw his bed was empty. And my first thought is, oh, he must be behind the door, you know, playing with some toys or something. And so when I opened the door even further, right in front of me was his dresser that had fallen forward and immediately, oh my God, it's so quiet in here. He has to be under it, he's under it. Consumer Reports launched an investigation into the stability of dressers. We recently purchased 24 dresser models from different furniture manufacturers and evaluated them based on three separate tip-over tests. It might be surprising, but there's no required testing for dressers before they're sold on the market. So we went out and looked at what kind of dressers are in the industry, what people are buying in stores, and what's in their home, and we tested them to see which dressers are more stable than others. There is a voluntary safety standard set by ASTM International, a standard-setting organization, which specifies that dressers taller than 30 inches don't tip over when an extended drawer is loaded with 50 pounds of weight. Yet, children continue to be seriously and fatally injured by furniture falling onto them. That's why CR conducted more extensive tests. In our first test, we opened all the drawers all the way. All 24 models passed. In the second test, the top drawer was fully opened and a 50-pound weight was placed over the drawer front. 19 models passed, five failed. For our third and more rigorous test, we placed up to 60 pounds on the top drawer to gauge how the dressers might perform, simulating the weight of a heavier child. We wanted to see how many dressers could actually withstand this weight. 13 models passed and 11 failed. Dressers from Pottery Barn, Epic, and Sauter, among others, passed CR's 60-pound test, while models from South Shore and Amerowood, among others, failed a 50-pound test. Both South Shore and Amerowood say their products meet voluntary safety standards. Consumer Reports feel strongly that based on injury data and our test results, a mandatory and more rigorous safety standard is required to help prevent tragic tip-over accidents like the McGee's from happening to other families. That's the thing about all of this. You can't tell a dresser whether it's going to be tipsy just by looking at it. So there are two things that we hope to put pressure on the industry. One of them is to increase the standard weight that's used in the ASTM standard from 50 pounds to 60 pounds. The vast majority of tip-over accidents happen to kids under six, and testing with a 60-pound weight would cover more children in this age group. The second one is increasing the range of heights that are associated with the standard. And so right now, the cutoff is 30 inches and below. So we're now putting pressure to include dressers that are 30 inches high and shorter. Parents should be as vigilant as they can, listen out for recalls. We also, Consumer Reports recommends that you anchor your dressers to the wall. Anchor, anchor, anchor. I do believe the message of anchoring furniture still needs to be shouted out there loud and proud for everybody to know that you have to anchor these pieces to the wall. But in the meantime, I do believe this standard to, to get true change with this issue and to stop these children from dying, you have to design this dresser stronger with stronger standards. For more information on how to anchor your furniture and to see our full furniture stability testing results, go to cr.org tipover.